Hello everyone, welcome to the series of Econometrics. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss the concept of dummy variable in regression analysis. So in the beginning, I will explain the meaning of dummy variable, then examples, dummy variable trap, and how to create dummy variable with two and three categories. You can find more videos on uh, econometrics on my YouTube channel. You can also find videos on SPSS, R Studio, and economics. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's begin with the meaning of dummy variable. A dummy variable is a binary variable used in the regression analysis to represent the categorical data. So basically, we are interested to incorporate the categorical data in our regression analysis through dummy variable. It takes the value of 0 or 1. So 1 indicates the presence of the attribute or characteristic and 0 indicates the absence of the attribute or characteristic. So dummy variables are commonly used in the regression analysis to model the effect of categorical variables. So dummy variable helps us to incorporate the qualitative variable as an independent variable into our regression model. See this example. Suppose we are working on wage rate determinants. So wage rate is a function of education, experience and gender. So gender is our categorical variable. So here we can create a dummy variable where one represents female and zero represents male. So this allows us to include gender as an independent variable in our regression analysis. Now what is dummy variable trap? Suppose we have three categories in our qualitative variable. That is location. So in location, you can see we have three categories. Rural one, semi-urban is second and urban is third. And therefore, we are going to introduce only two dummy variables. So the rule is when we have k categories, we introduce k minus 1 dummy variables. If we do not follow this rule, then we have the problem of dummy variable trap. So what is dummy variable trap? When you have k categories and you introduce k dummy variables. But normally, or the rule is, we have k categories and therefore we are going to introduce k minus 1 dummy variable. Now, suppose we have two categories in our qualitative variable. So, let's see how to create a dummy variable with two categories. So, the variable is gender. We have two categories, male and female, and therefore we are going to introduce only one dummy variable. So, the function is consumption expenditure is equal to alpha plus beta 1y plus beta 2 d1. So, d1 is our dummy variable which represents gender. So d1 is equal to 1 for male and 0 otherwise. So when d1 is equal to 0, that means this becomes 0. And therefore, consumption expenditure is equal to alpha plus beta 1 y. That is CE of female, consumption expenditure of female. D1 is equal to 1. So when the value of D1 is 1, that represents male. And therefore, consumption expenditure is equal to alpha plus beta 1 y plus uh, beta 2. That is consumption expenditure of male. So this is how we introduce the uh, dummy variable with two categories. So when d1 is equal to 0, that shows the consumption expenditure of female. When uh, d1 is equal to 1, that shows the consumption expenditure of male. Now let's see how to introduce dummy variable with three categories. 
Suppose we have a variable called location in which we have three categories, rural, semi-urban, urban. And therefore, we are going to introduce only two dummies. So the equation is consumption expenditure is equal to alpha plus beta 1 by plus beta 2 d1 and beta 3 d2. So we have introduced two dummy variables d1 and d2. So d1 is equal to 1 if person is from semi-urban and 0 otherwise. d2 is equal to 1 if the person is from urban and 0 otherwise. So here you can see we have not created a dummy variable for rural category. And therefore rural category is known as reference category. So when D1 and D2 both are equal to 0, that represents rural. Which is also known as the base, benchmark, control, comparison, reference or omitted category. Now what happens if both are 0? So when D1 and D2 is equal to 0, if we substitute the value here, D1 is equal to 0, D2 is equal to 0, then consumption expenditure is equal to alpha plus beta 1 by and that shows the consumption expenditure of rural people. Now when D1 is equal to 1 and D2 is equal to 0. So here D1 is equal to 1, D2 is equal to 0. The answer is consumption expenditure CE is equal to alpha plus beta 1 by plus beta 2. Now, when D1 is equal to 1, you can see the person is from semi-urban. And therefore, that shows the consumption expenditure of semi-urban people. And when both, sorry, when D1 is equal to 0 and D2 is equal to 1. D1 is equal to 0. D2 is equal to 1. So, you can see when D2 is equal to 1, the person is from urban. So that shows the consumption expenditure of urban people. That is consumption expenditure is equal to alpha plus beta 1 y plus beta 3. So this is how we create the dummy variable with three categories. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.